In this video we're going to go through an example where we have our road grade set at one gradient but our ditch is not going to follow the road grade and it's going to be graded independently. To do this there's a few different ways to do it. I'm going to go with uh, using reference features and with that instead of using terrain reference features I'm going to use another alignment. So I'm going to be using the project explorer panel a fair bit and I'm going to make some adjustments to our templates. Before I start actually doing any of the design, we'll just look at what we're dealing with. So I've got fairly flat terrain, and I'm going to just switch over my background to be a hill shade. There we can see what's going on, fairly flat with a, a channel and then a, a man-made ditch up there that we want to grade to. And yeah, so we've got some relief to get water away from the road prism uh, back here and up here. Now so we can see what we're dealing with, I'm going to turn on our template code so I can see the ditch grade in my plan view. So I'll just use DIL and DIR, so ditch inside, ditch outside. So left I'll go cyan and right I'll go orange. And there's that. And just to briefly explain where those are coming from. If I come in here and if I hover over I can see that the code for my inside of ditch by hovering is DIR. So I'm showing that and let's get into the meat and potatoes of things. So I'm going to want to reference something so I'm going to click Add, Horizontal Alignment, and I'm going to duplicate my road. So it's the same, just so I don't get mixed up. First I'm going to shift that up, but I'm going to rename this Ditch Right. And again, just so I don't get mixed up, I'm going to assign an empty template to it. So. No earthworks, just just that. Now here, let's go out here. At this end, I want to be down near the bottom of that ditch elevation. So. We can edit it here as well. That's looking good. And I'm going to just keep this flat as we grade out to the end. So right now, if I make that my reference feature for my ditch, all the water from way back here is going to go ahead to there, which may be good, um, but we can probably reduce our earthworks a bit here as well, and we can split the difference. So looking at this, I think we could get our water away from the road if we had another low point back here. I'm going to add that in, and now I'm going to raise this. So I've got almost 2% to grade my water away from that location, and then half a percent, so let's move this back, kind of split the difference. So I'm near 1% on both sides. Now back here, I'm going to want to keep my ditch below ground, so let's Set that. And there, I've got almost half a percent. Actually, let's increase that a bit here. 
a half a percent, just over half a percent. So I've got all my low spots defined where I want to add a culvert. So that's my right taken care of. I'm going to do the same thing for my left. Add horizontal alignment, duplicate from ditch right. I'm going to, again, so I don't get mixed up, call it ditch left. And now I did it before, but I didn't talk about it. I'm going to shift this up. So as these different alignments get calculated, I want the ditch alignment to be calculated before my road. I'm going to shift that up. Now with this ditch alignment, it's on the low side of my road. So I'm fine with it being a complete duplicate of the other, uh, but I want my water to as I, when I put my culverts in, I want the water to uh, go towards the side of the road that I want it to, to go towards. So for that, I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to do, quickly do a transformation. And let's shift it down 20 centimeters. There we are. So back to our main design. So far, my ditch is still the same ditch that it was when I started. Uh, now I'm going to go into my templates. I'm going to expand this. So this ditch component that I'm using has a fixed depth. So I've got to set it half a meter. Instead of that fixed depth, I can go to our e-library. I can grab our ditch and subcuts components. I can grab our ditch by vertical tie. So this is going to tie to those other features that we've just created, features being alignments in this case. And there we are. And just as a quick note, we could have also done this without having reference features, but we could have used uh, specific elevations at specific points. I'm going to take this one though, we're going to come back up here, we're going to paste that in as left, I'm going to remove the other ditches that I don't want to use. I'm going to configure this. So I want the default depth to be half a meter. I want it to be, have a base width of half a meter. So that's got it behaving the same as our default, but the nice thing about this template, oh, and I'm also going to set my slope to be four to one. The nice thing about this template is this ditch depth can be based off a of feature. So we'll go in here. I'm going to tell it to, let's make a new reference feature. I'm going to make it ditch left. We'll use the center line. So if I had more than just the center line, I could select which point code I was using. And we're going to make that reference feature three. And there we are. So as I go up chain or down chain, actually let's go back, we can see that that ditch depth is tied to that feature that we had referenced. I'll do the same for the right. Copy paste that. It's configured the same way. The only thing I want to do here is instead of reference feature three, I'm going to assign a new reference feature to be my ditch depth right. We'll select that. We'll hit OK. We'll hit OK. I'm going to recalculate all. And there we are. So we've got our low points defined. Now I'm going to just go in here and add in my culverts. And I want my culvert to be right there. Culvert editor, add, I'm going to set this to be auto so it matches my crossfall. I'm going to change my diameter to be whatever I'd like. Change my skew. So that's one. I'll add another one here. Actually, before I do that, let's set that as our default. So when I go and add these other ones in, I don't have to start from scratch. I'll we'll change our diameter that 500. I think I'm going to have more 500s than 2000s, so 
save my default again. And We are. So I've got my pipes in place and everything is looking good. So if I was just worried about the ditch grading, um, I'd be set. Now one more thing that we can do here, and I'll just uh, show it as a, a quick tangent, is my offtake ditch. So right now that's not daylighting anywhere. Um, we could do it as an override. In this case, I'm going to do it as its own alignment. So let's go with that. Uh, I'm going to make a new template. stripping out this so it's going to represent my ditch. So now that's going to be my ditch. And I'm going to set this So I include that surface in my merged surface. I'm going to turn on reference surfaces. So I can see that roadway that we have designed already. created to represent our ditch. Actually, let's move this back here. Now I've even designed my offtake ditch and I don't need to be that deep with it. got our roadway design and then I've got our offtake ditch design just to account for that uh, low point on the low side of our road. There we are. Thank you for your time. <laughs>